Hello, let's make connections. What do we have today? Uh, well, immediately I see peak and summit. These are synonymous. What else? Do we have anything else that looks... Oh, a crest as in of a mountain. Um, hmm. I actually don't particularly see any others. Maybe this is a surprising misdirection. Ah, boy, they feel this feels like such a tight match. I wonder. I don't know. I don't see anything else. Okay, what else do we have potentially? Mini and baby can both mean small in sort of slang. I don't know if slang is the right word, but in certain casual contexts, pocket. I guess in the sense of like iPad mini or Game Boy Pocket, you know, and this you can append them to mean a small thing in a product name. Baby, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily product, but same idea. Toy? Like a toy dog? Boy, I could be really reaching here. I don't know. Um should I just go for it? <laughs> it is. It is modifiers meaning small. Okay, modifier. Yeah, that's that's sort of what I was getting at, I suppose. Um, but that's one of them. Okay. So what else do we have? What else do we have? Vertex is really interesting. Oh, is that... I'm trying to think if that fits the peak summit crest thing. I don't really think of a vertex as being the highest point, is it? This is, <laughs> I'm trying to think back to actually having been in school and learning about these terms and wondering if the way that I casually use this word, not that I casually use the word vertex very often, but I'm wondering if the way that I think about it being used is not mathematically accurate and actually it does refer to the highest point. It doesn't feel like it does to me, but I really want this to be a category. One moment. Sorry, I just had to respond to a knock on the door there. Anyway, um, I don't remember where I was in the middle of my train of thought, but point is, I'm not sure if this is right. Um, I'm going to leave them highlighted for now and see if that prompts any other. Um, we have number and digits, which is interesting, but one is, one is pluralized and one isn't. I guess you could sort of say, I mean... <laughs> Following along similar lines from from modifiers meaning small, if we're sort of thinking about things in a casual sense, you could say, give me your number or give me your digits. And those are sort of the same thing, even though they're differently pluralized. You, you would only say them in those ways. You wouldn't say, give me your digit, because obviously there are several digits in a phone number. And similarly, I suppose you could say, give me your contact or send me your contact. You know, text it to me. Okay. I was starting off slightly skeptical, but I actually sort of like this. Um, and again, it only works if you say it in that way. It only works if you say it in language, sort of spoken language. But give me your cell, you could say. And obviously you don't mean hand your phone to me. Uh, you mean give me your number. That's funny. This I think this is. I, I'm actually more confident about this than I was about the small thing now. There it is. Can I get your blank phone info request? Oh, right. I think I, I might've even said that at least once. Can I get your something? I think maybe I said, give me your, but same idea. Okay. Can I get, can I get your number? Can I get your digits? Can I get your cell? Can I get your contact? Yeah. Okay. So now what? Okay. Well, let's put this back in. Vertex summit, crest peak, board, tiles, racks, bag. Oh, these are sort of Scrabble elements because there's the scrabble board there are the tiles with letters on them there's the bag of tiles and then there are the racks on which you position your own tiles to keep them secret from your opponent that seems plausible so yeah highest point vertex right okay I'll need to look up the actual definition of vertex anyway racks tiles board bag this is this will be scrabble elements 
inside a Scrabble box. There we go. Okay. Well, this was a surprising one to me. It's funny. It was sort of, this, this, this was a very intuitive connect. You need to approach this one intuitively because I feel that the dictionary wouldn't necessarily be very meaningful in terms of researching some of these categories. You need to, you really need to, to understand them on a, on a kind of spoken language level, at least in a couple of cases. Anyway, there we go. Those were the connections back tomorrow. Bye for now.